In the final moments of life, when breath becomes faint and the material world fades away, what journey does the human soul embark on? What does Islam teach about this mysterious transition of the soul from this ephemeral life to the unknown realm that awaits? Islam, with its profound teachings spanning from the most mundane to the most transcendent aspects of existence, offers a unique insight into this enigma. Through the Quran, the revealed word of Allah, and the Hadiths, the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we find guiding lights in this inquiry into the nature and destiny of the human spirit. The soul, Ra, in Islam, is considered as a mysterious and divine creation, whose reality is known only to Allah. It is what gives life to the human body, and what continues its journey after death. The Quran, with its eternal wisdom, provides insights into what happens when the spirit leaves the body a topic that has intrigued humanity since time immemorial. In Islamic cosmology, the soul or Ru is depicted as one of the most enigmatic and sacred creations of Allah. Its exact nature remains in the realm of the unknown, as stated in the Quran in Surah Al-Isra 17-85. And they ask you about the Ru, the spirit. Say, the Ru is of the affair of my Lord and you have not been given of knowledge except a little. This humble admission of human knowledge limitation underscores the belief that the soul is more than just a spark of life. It is an aspect of human existence directly connected with the divine. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through his hadiths, also shed light on the importance of the soul in various facets of life. In a hadith narrated by al-Bukhari, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, in the body, there is a piece of flesh. If it is sound, the whole body will be sound, and if it is corrupt, the whole body will be corrupt. It is the heart. This hadith is often interpreted as a reference to spiritual and moral health, with the heart symbolizing the core of the human being, intimately connected with the soul. Islamic teaching places great emphasis on the relationship between the state of the soul and human conduct in earthly life. The soul is not only crucial for physical existence, but also for spiritual life. A person's actions, intentions and thoughts are considered a reflection of the state of their soul. As such, in Islam, believers are encouraged to purify and nurture their souls through practices such as prayer, fasting, charity, and reflection. This conception of the soul directly impacts how Muslims approach aspects such as morality, ethics, and everyday responsibilities. The belief that every action affects the soul leads believers to strive for acts of kindness and avoid sins, following the example of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The soul also plays a central role in the Islamic understanding of the test of life. Each individual is tested through their circumstances and decisions, and it is the state of the soul that determines success or failure in these tests. As mentioned in Surah Al-Mulk 67-2, He is the one who created death and life to test you. Which of you is best in deeds? This verse highlights that earthly life is an opportunity for the soul to grow and prepare for eternal life. In summary, Islam views the soul as a link between human beings and the divine, being the center of human existence. Its care and purification are crucial for spiritual and moral well-being, which in turn influences every aspect of earthly life. Death in Islam is seen as an inevitable transition from earthly existence to a different and eternal form of life. It is considered a return to the Creator, Allah, the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran 3 to 185 states, Every soul will taste death, and you will only be given your full compensation on the day of resurrection. This perspective places death as a critical moment in the soul's journey, marking the end of earthly trials and the beginning of life in the hereafter. In Islamic tradition, the process of death is described in detail. The Hadiths narrate that the angel of death known as Israel, is responsible for taking the soul from the body. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, described the moment of death as one where the soul is gently extracted for believers, 
while for unbelievers it can be a painful process. This concept reflects the belief that the experience of death varies according to the actions and faith of the individual in earthly life. Prophetic teachings provide guidance on how Muslims should perceive and prepare for death. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of frequently remembering death, not as a cause for fear, but as a reminder to live a virtuous life. In a hadith reported by al tirmidhi the Prophet said, Remember frequently the destroyer of pleasures, referring to death. This teaching encourages Muslims to maintain an eternal perspective and prioritize actions that will benefit the soul in the afterlife. Another important aspect of Islamic teachings about death is the acceptance of Allah's will. Death is perceived as a destiny predetermined by Allah, and accepting it with patience and faith is seen as an act of submission and devotion. As mentioned in Surah al tagaban 6411, no disaster strikes except by permission of Allah. This implies that death, like life, is under the control and divine wisdom of Allah. Death in Islam is not just about the end of earthly life, but also about awakening to the broader reality of existence. The Quran and the Hadiths teach that life in this world is temporary and that true life is the life of the hereafter. This belief shapes how Muslims live their lives, focusing on accumulating good deeds and maintaining a strong relationship with Allah, which will have an impact on their state in the hereafter. The term Barzakh in Islam refers to the period between death and the Day of Judgment. It is a phase of existence that separates earthly life from eternal life. The Quran mentions this state in Surah al muminin 23-100 where it is said to be a barrier for those who die until the day they are resurrected. In this phase, souls are neither in the earthly world, nor in their final destination of paradise or hell. It is a state of waiting, and for many scholars, a space for reflection on past life. The concept of Barzakh is significant as it reflects the Islamic belief that death is not the end, but rather a threshold to a different form of consciousness. According to various interpretations during Barzakh, souls experience a state that reflects their actions on earth. Hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, describe that the souls of believers are in a state of peace and tranquility, while those of unbelievers face forms of distress. Within Barzakh, the soul experiences realities that are linked to its behavior in earthly life. This period is often described as a kind of dream in some hadiths, where souls may experience visions of their future destiny in paradise or hell. These experiences are seen as a prelude and preparation for what will come after the Day of Judgment. A key concept related to Barzakh is the questioning in the grave. Hadiths narrate that after death, people are visited in their graves by two angels, Munkar and Nekir, who ask them about their faith and their life. The answers determine the state of the soul in Barzakh. It is believed that believers will respond confidently and live in peace, while unbelievers or hypocrites will face torment. Furthermore, it is taught that the actions of the living can benefit the souls in Barzakh. Prayers, charity, and good deeds performed on behalf of the deceased can alleviate their sufferings and elevate their status. This reflects a continuous interconnection between the living and the dead in the Islamic worldview. Barzakh, therefore, is a fundamental concept in Islamic spirituality. It represents a period of transition and reflection, an intermediate state that links earthly life and the hereafter. It is both an extension of earthly life, in terms of the consequences of the individual's actions, and a preparation for the eternal life that follows the Day of Judgment. The Day of Judgment, known in Arabic as Yom al-Qayama, is a central pillar of Islamic faith and represents the climax of the soul's journey. The Quran describes this day as the moment when all humanity will be resurrected and gathered to be judged for their actions. Surah al-Zalzalah 99-68 declares, That day, mankind will emerge separated into categories to be shown the result of their deeds. So whoever does an atom's weight of good will see it, and whoever does an atom's weight of evil will see it. 
This passage emphasizes that nothing will go unnoticed, and every action, big or small, will be judged. The final judgment in Islam is a moment of absolute truth. People will be confronted with their deeds, and there will be no room for excuses or intercessors, except those permitted by Allah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, spoke about the severity and justice of this day, emphasizing that it is a moment of both fear and hope, depending on the life one has led. The outcome of the final judgment is entry into paradise, Jannah, or hell, Jahannam. These two destinations represent the culmination of the soul's spiritual journey. Paradise in Islam is described as a place of unparalleled beauty and happiness, an eternal garden where believers will be rewarded for their good deeds and faith. The Quran depicts it with vivid imagery of gardens, rivers, and an atmosphere of peace and satisfaction. In Shura al kaf 1831, it is said, These are the ones of paradise, wherein they will abide eternally, as reward for what they used to do. In contrast, hell is portrayed as a place of suffering and torment for those who rejected the truth and committed evil deeds. It is described as an abyss of fire and pain, where sins are punished. However, it is important to highlight that in Islam, the mercy of Allah is central, and it is taught that His punishment is just and often temporary, except for the most rebellious. In both descriptions, paradise and hell are more than mere physical places. They are manifestations of the final spiritual state of souls. They represent the ultimate realization of divine justice, reward and punishment based on the actions and choices of earthly life. The Day of Judgment and the concept of the hereafter have profound implications in the daily life of Muslims. This belief serves as a constant reminder of moral responsibility and accountability. It influences how Muslims conduct themselves in their daily lives, motivating them to pursue righteous actions and refrain from harmful behaviors. Moreover, it offers comfort and hope. For those who suffer, it is a reminder that final justice will prevail and for those who do good, it is a promise of eternal reward. This belief in life after death reinforces the notion that earthly life is transient and that true rewards or punishments will be revealed in the hereafter. The Islamic understanding of the soul, death, barzakh, the day of judgment, and the hereafter exerts a profound influence on the daily life of Muslims. These beliefs shape not only their behavior and morality, but also their overall perspective on life. The constant awareness of final accountability acts as a powerful motivator to live a righteous life. Muslims are encouraged to perform good deeds, such as charity, honesty, and patience, in the hope of obtaining rewards in the hereafter. Shura al-Mulk, 67-2, states, He is the one who created death and life to test you. Which of you is best in deeds? This verse reinforces the idea that earthly life is a test of faith and character. Ethics in Islam are intrinsically linked to the notion of responsibility to Allah. Every action, thought, and word is considered significant. This ethical responsibility extends to all aspects of life, including social, economic, and environmental interactions. Muslims are urged to treat others with justice and compassion, to care for the needy, and to be responsible stewards of the natural world. This ethics is reinforced by the belief in Barzakh and the Day of Judgment. The idea that one could be questioned for their actions after death fosters a sense of ongoing responsibility. Furthermore, teachings about paradise and hell serve as reminders of the eternal consequences of earthly actions. In Islam, spirituality is not limited to rituals and religious practices. It permeates everyday life. Prayer, fasting, and recitation of the Quran are means not only to fulfill religious duties, but also to develop a personal and continuous connection with Allah. These practices help Muslims maintain Allah consciousness in their daily lives and reflect on the deeper purpose and meaning of their existence. The belief in life after death also offers comfort and perspective in times of difficulty. In moments of loss or suffering, Muslims may find solace in the idea that there is divine purpose behind life's trials and that final justice will be achieved in the hereafter. 
In our exploration of what happens when the spirit leaves a person's body, according to Islam, we have traversed a path from the conception of the soul to life after death, traversing topics such as Barzak and the Day of Judgment. These teachings not only address the eternal fate of the soul, but also offer practical guidance for daily life, inspiring believers to live with purpose and responsibility. The soul, Ra, viewed as a divine and mysterious gift, is the core of this journey. Its journey beyond physical death leads us to Barzak, an intermediate state of reflection and waiting, and eventually to the final judgment. This day of immense importance, where each soul will be judged, highlights divine justice and reward or punishment based on actions performed in earthly life. The impact of these beliefs is tangible in the lives of Muslims. They are motivated to seek righteousness, to act with compassion, and to focus their lives on gratitude and service. This framework of beliefs shapes a lifestyle that values spiritual transcendence, maintaining a balance between worldly needs and spiritual aspirations. Finally, these Islamic teachings about death and the hereafter serve as a constant reminder that life in this world is fleeting and that our actions have eternal significance. They invite us to reflect on our own existence and to live in a way that honors our soul, seeking not only success in this world, but also salvation and happiness in the hereafter.